Hey, what's up guys? It's Rinku, and, um, yeah, this is an odd site, I bet. Uh, you didn't they think I'd be playing RuneScape, would you? So, um, I'm actually, I play RuneScape. Um, this is my RuneScape account, and, uh, I think I'm gonna start a series on RuneScape. So, I have not recorded a video in a very long time. I took a two-week break from uploading on, um, when I went to vape for a vacation. Haven't up actually made videos in, like, a month, and I've actually been uploading videos, like, now daily. But they're all old videos that I made a while ago, so this is the first of, the, like, the new, the new generation. I don't know, just, just a couple weeks later, you know, man. Anyways, we're here with RuneScape, and, uh, I'm gonna get to the point, so, um, this is gonna be a road to, I guess, trimmed quest cape, and, uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because my main goal right now is to go for Quest Cape. However, I've also decided that I want to get eventually trimmed Quest Cape, which means doing all the achievement diaries. And I also realize that doing the achievement diaries are really useful, like extremely useful for everything. And um, so I think I'm going to do them as soon as possible. So basically, I'm going to do some quests, the ones that I need for the easy achievement diaries, and then I'm going to do the entire easy achievement diaries. And then I'm going to do more quests, and then I'm going to do more quests, and then eventually uh, do the medium, and then the hard, and the elite, until I have everything done, and that's how it's going to go, because doing the diaries helped me in all my skills. And um, the other thing is, even though this is to trimmed quest cape, and I'm going to be mainly doing quests, I've already done some quests, like all the, I've done every single free-to-play quest, and I've done some um, mem members quests, but it's not that many, it's only like literally like a couple so and I've also never completed all the quests even on my RS3 account which was back in the day back in 2007 my main account um I didn't even do half the quests available to this day so there's so many quests I'm not I've never gonna have done and I'm pretty sure I've done every quest I've done on my main account um I mean every quest I've done on this account I have done on my main account at some point so like every quest I haven't done I haven't done and I'm gonna do it for the first time hopefully on this video so um yeah uh just just so you know uh i am going to be skilling and doing things besides questing and i'm probably not going to cover that because my skills are pretty low uh we're just going to go over my skills really quick and um i don't think i'll be doing anything for the first half of this video it's literally just me explaining but um yeah hopefully i can get through this quick um here are my skills uh i have every single skill required to get a quest cape except for four there is um, thieving, which is 51. I'm gonna wait until I can do Pyramid Plunder, which requires quests, which is why I haven't done it yet. I need, like, I think 58 instead of 51, and I want to get that in Pyramid Plunder. So, but I need to do a quest for it, so I said, so I figured it'd be okay to wait on that one. Um, farming, I just hate farming, it's just because I'm bad. As soon as I learn the routes, I'm sure it'll be easy, so I'll probably be doing some farming off screen, like, probably very soon. Slayer, I'm, I've am i never done Slayer, although I've been enjoying it since I've gotten up to 37. My main character on RS3 is level 60, but most of it was from quest rewards and other shit. And then, last but not least, runecrafting. I got it to 44, and pretty much the fastest way to level it from here on out is getting glories, which cost a lot, to be honest, for someone that's poor and shitty as me. And uh, I was going to wait until I do the hero's quest so I could recharge my glories and not have to buy like hundreds of glories or teleports because that would take fucking forever. So those are the only four skills I haven't got to the, the quest cape requirement, meaning I have to raise those four at some point before I can quest cape. Um, but yeah, so I don't think it'll be that hard. All other skills are good. I just got 70 agility, got like 900k from the tokens, and um, uh, yeah, I'm, the other thing I really want to do as soon as possible is full Guthans to do Nightmare Zone to get max combat, just cause I can, I want to, I don't give a shit, <laughs> uh, the only thing I'm missing is the War Spear, of course, because that's the most expensive, coming out at, like, 8 mil compared to the other set, and I think I bought this all for, like, 2 mil, even though it's now worth, like, a couple, uh, <laughs> I don't, I could be wrong, it was just a long time ago, they, I don't think the helm was actually, like, 5 mil, even though it's, I think that's what it's going for now. Anyways, regardless, I have the entire set, I'm just missing the 8 mil War Spear, and I have 2.9 mil, so I'm almost halfway there. I need like I need to farm 5 mil from this episode onward to get full Guthans, and then hopefully I can just AFK, train, combat, and prosper. So, here's my bank if you wanted to see it. Not much really going on, I have just basic supplies, you know. 
I have a full set of this shit just to have it. I have some teleports. I uh, this is probably my like armor setup, and then I also have the full graceful set. And I I don't know where I was getting with mining, but I kind of have these two pieces for that set. Uh, I want to buy a dragon pickaxe at some point. Dragon axe, you know. And then um, yeah, I think that's all I want to talk about. My combat stats: attack 70, defense 70. Like I said, I'm just keeping it there until I get. Nightmare Zone, and also that's what I need to do in my questing series, is do all the quests for Nightmare Zone, because I don't have a single one done. Um, damn, I've been talking for five minutes, but that's not that bad. I think there's some more to be explained, so just gonna go over the quests. Um, I've done every single free-to-play quest, but Animal Magnetism, uh, Creature of Frankenstein, Druidic Witcher, uh, Dwarf Cannon, The Eyes of- I don't even remember doing that one, what the fuck. Uh, <laughs> Family Crest. Ghost Hoy, Grand Tree, Jungle Potion, Lost City, Merlin's Crystal, Monkey Madness, Plague City, Priest in Peril, Recipe for Disaster. Didn't do a single, uh, why well, I guess I started three, but I don't think, I think that just means I can do them. I, I don't think I've actually done them at all. Like, even, I've, I've talked to probably one person, that's it. Uh, Taurus Trap and the Tree Gnome Village. And the reason why I just went over that entire list, uh, it was not to just be annoying and boring, but to show every single one of these red quests on this list, I am going to make a video. And it's not going to be a video of a guide how to do it, because it, there's so many guides, you, you don't need me to make a guide for you. Just trust me, you don't. Um, but I'm going to do them, and it's going to be a live reaction of me, maybe possibly the first time I've done it, or just me just doing it on my own time, and just how I would do it. It's just just random shit to make a video out of, um, you know, just in case you want to watch me do them, <laughs> or at least watch me while you play, you know, and, uh, also, just so you know, n not a single diary, I have not even touched any of these, not started a single one, I'm planning on, like I said, I want to do them all in, like, one run, like, do all the easies in one run, that would be fucking amazing, but again, that means I have to do all the requirements, but doing it that way kind of makes me, like, feel like I'm getting somewhere, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to do it really slowly because then I never do it. It just th doesn't get done. But if I get all the requirements and I just do the entire thing, I'll just, it'll be done and I'll be so happy. And I haven't really needed it because all I've been doing is getting low skills. Like, usually when I get to 60 or 70 in a skill, I just have to, I don't, I don't need it because I just pass the requirements for a uh, quest cape already and stop. So it hasn't really been that hard. It's not like I'm trying to go for 99. Um, but I mean, I've gotten a couple 99s on my main account before, so... I think I have like, I want to say three on my RS3 account, and they're not, none of them are combat stats, so go. this is going to be interesting playing this account. So um, I think we're going to start off with one, one of the most easiest quests, and that's going to be um, Gertrude's Cat, and uh, I think it's called that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to cut to when I have all the shit I need to do that. I just want to do this intro part separately, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, is there anything else I want to go over? Um, I think I did say I want to make the series. It, I'm going to have different sections. I'm going to have the quest, probably, section. Um, and then I'm going to have, uh, getting confused. The quest section, then the diary section, and I'm going to be making those two at the same time. And once I get those, the series is not going to stop. It's just going to turn into more of, um, either a max or, like, bossing series it depends on what i want to do if i want to try and start maxing all my skills which i do want to do eventually that will be its own section and then any other series i could think that would be enough time spent into that it deserves its own series maybe have its own part and they'll kind of be like uploaded differently and like finished so i don't have to make have one series that never ends or something it, it will make more sense as i do it but hope that clears everything up and uh, i guess we have to do our first quest because uh road to trimmed quest cape let's go all right what's up guys we're back and uh, I also boosted the sound a little bit but um so yeah we need to talk to Gertrude to start the quest and uh, 77 quest points uh, just talk to her poor fluffs who's fluffs Oh, my friend Fluffs. Uh, what's in it for me? Well, I suppose I could. I suppose I could. I guess. I mean, why not? Um. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So, with that. Okay, yeah, start of the quest. We got it. You need to speak to people. Just people. <laughs> in in Verok. So. I already have all the items. I usually just buy all the items. Even, if, like, sometimes when you can pick it up, it's, it's just faster just buying the EGE for, like, 
what, 50 coins? Um, uh, so yeah, I talked to one of the boys, I guess. Oh, fuck, I had to get money to pay them, because they're little fuckers. It's those people. <sighs> uh... <laughs> so yeah, I'm just letting you guys know, I have a very small friends list, so I would love to add people, and I even made a clan, uh, and get some, get some of this bank, <laughs> might as well take out my entire cash stack, uh, but yeah, I only have like a couple friends, and I made a, a, a clan, in case people like, see the series or something, or catches on, I guess, I made my new name, Ellis, just because it sounded awesome, and then, uh, yeah, you can join my clan by typing my name, obviously, and, uh, I'll probably just chill here, so if you want to talk to me, you could either chill here or you could PM me, but sometimes I have a PM on, um, uh, friends because spammers get so annoying. So you could just join my clan, maybe. I, I don't know how that works, but, uh, so yeah, let's just talk to this kid, and, uh, I've been looking for you. <laughs> I have to pay him money, I'm pretty sure. You might be able to help me. This play area. Well, <laughs> what will make you tell me? Yeah, what will make you tell me? I'm a bit short in cash. How much? 100 should cover it. God damn it, man. Paying him 100 bucks just tell a secret. Okay, then I'll pay. Whatever. Uh, and that is anything else? Blah, blah, blah. See, I really don't remember what I'm doing. So. I need to go to their player and find the lost cat in terms of your I've I've done this so many times, but it's so long ago. Uh. So I need to make my way to the lumber yard, northeast of Verok, and uh, try to like smuggle this cat back to his owner. And hopefully, I get my own cat. Uh, oh, I should probably respond. So I am using Osu Buddy because it's fucking awesome, but I'm very poor, so I don't actually have the members edition. So I just have regular Osu Buddy. Maybe in the future I'll buy it, maybe in the future someone will buy it for me, who knows, but uh, I don't really think it's necessary right now, so I'm not gonna worry, and I totally forgot they added the lumber pre people because I haven't done this quest since, uh, well, since construction actually, that's kind of weird to think about. I don't think I have, but it's been a long time, I honestly forget how to do this. Uh, so once you're in the lumber yard, climb over the fence near the south entrance. Uh, so I think I just have to go up the stairs here. And uh, there he is. So I need to try and pick you up, man. Can I pick you up? He hissed at me. Can I use the bucket of milk on you? Maybe the cat's thirsty. Man, I've emptied that shit before. It is not fun. Holy shit. Mio. She will feel. Okay, so. Pick her up again. Doesn't work. And, uh. Now you're hungry. Sardine. Hiss. Uh. And then I need to use these leaves on the fish. And then, uh, give it to the cat. And then. Uh, this better work. And then pick up the cat. Ow. Cat, what do you want? The cat seems afraid to leave. In the distance you hear cat kittens meowing. Uh. So pick up? No, no. Yes, no. Okay, we're, we're out of here. We're, we're, it refuses to leave. Like. Uh, so that didn't work. I wonder why. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I still need to get her to follow me home. So I think I'm supposed to talk to Gertrude and... Oh no. Uh... Oh, I think I need to see the search through the cates to find the kitten, actually. I don't think I need to go back at all. Meow. Meow. Are you in this one? It's the possible. God damn it. So the only ones that will carry the kitten are the ones with the yellow text. You 
found a kitten. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, we didn't have to go back to Gertrude. Thank God. So I think I just have to show the kitten to the cat. Use on you? Meow. Meow. And they're happy. And are they going home? Oh, they went home. That's so cute. You must saying the kitten has run off to the mother with Gertrude after doing so there. Go all the way back. I didn't bring a teleport, so fuck me. Um, we're just gonna clear the series. How long I've been recording? I've been recording for uh, this episode is gonna be about 15 minutes. That's actually pretty good. So um, I was actually planning on starting the series off with um the easy tasks, but you have to use so many quests for the easy tasks. I have all the levels, obviously, but I need to do so many quests. So just to read them off in the next in the order that I'm doing them right now, just because I want to do the easy tasks as soon as possible. I need I need to do the Fremenic. Fremnik Trials, Fremnik Trials, I don't know. Big Choppy Bird Hunting, Biohazard, Death Plateau, God damn it, I need to start wa walking. Uh, the Fremnik Trials, didn't I just say that? I don't know why I have a tab twice. <laughs> Gertrude's Cat, which we're about to complete. Elemental Workshop 1. Um, Itch Lauren's Little Helper, which is, which I needed to do this quest before I do this one. This one also unlocks Pyramid Plunder, which unlocks my thieving, so that's going to be a high priority. Maybe I'll do that next episode. Uh, the Giant Dwarf, and also the Troll Stronghold. Some of those aren't requirements, you just need to start them. However, I personally don't like just starting a quest and not finishing it. So if I'm going to start it and I'm going to record it, I might as well just finish it. So that's why I say that how it is. And, uh, yeah, uh, I just need to figure out uh, one other thing. Oh, just to let you guys know what I'm wearing right now is um, half Guthans and half uh, Graceful, just because it kind of looks badass and because... I don't know what else to wear because I'm pretty damn poor and shitty at this game. Uh, some more backstory from me um, as we're walking back is uh, I this is not my main account. I have them on two separate accounts um, because when I was first discovering 07, I thought it'd be cool to play my main account and 07 at the same time. And right around the time that the GE came out, I made this account. So this account's actually pretty much a week after the GE came out. I created this account and started playing and bought members as soon as like like day two. Uh, but I did start playing 07. The day of release on my main account some time ago and uh, the only thing I have on that account is pretty much combat stats and like crafting level from fra uh, crafting flax and that's pretty much it along with um, all the free to play quests completed anyways so we're back finally to Gertrude and uh, I'm gonna talk to you ma'am I don't know why I got two of these leaves I was just afraid that you need multiple who knows uh, thank you thank you you're back blah, blah, blah. fluff just came back she gives me a hug and uh, she had a kitten. I don't know if the Gertrude, the cat's always a different color, or if the kitten's always a different color, or if they're both always the same, that just the pet you get is totally random. But we're about to find out. She gives me a kitten, and uh, it's not, it's a totally different color. So yeah, maybe it is, probably is the same color for the quest in a different color. But we're done! We completed our first quest, that wasn't so hard. I honestly hate questing and diaries, but this series doesn't seem so bad now that I'm recording and have a means to. Uh, we got some cooking experience for no reason chocolate cake I don't know why she's so nice but uh, apparently she's a cook but we got our kitten this is my first pet and uh, this game and uh, having this quest in ages it's been so long I don't even know how do I there's no meter for your cat huh he's gonna die on me <laughs> like if there's no meter to see how hungry he is I am fucked um, so yeah I think that wraps it up for this episode Next episode, uh, I have no idea what quest I'm going to cover, but I'm going to try and cover um, more quests. Also, I'll try to update you on any levels I do in between episodes, but sometimes, like the next episode, there's probably going to be no level increase, so we're probably just going to make the next episode right now. But if something, if I like hardcore train a skill, I'll probably explain how and what I did while I'm doing the quest or something. So it'll also be kind of a mini update series. But that will be in every single series I pretty much make, unless I'm making a dedicated update series. So, I'm sorry if anything of this has been confusing, but the next couple episodes will be a lot more chill and a lot more just straight to the point. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, chill with me and my clan, yo. I need friends. <laughs> JK, see ya. <laughs>